Hi right, guys, in this tutorial I want to cover a little bit about functions and what each one does. So first we have the update function. This is pretty much one that's being called constantly, like always being called and always running through everything that's in here. And there's a couple of other ones. There is function um, on, I think it's all capital, on GUI. So this is where you would put uh, GUI code. So if you're trying to make a button that you want to press on screen or different stuff like that, um, it's best to put it in here. But don't put too much in here because it might slow down your game. But you could also put stuff in different places like uh, you can create text in here or through anywhere, but most of the time it's done in the on GUI function because you can uh, use if statements to tell when it's displayed on screen and uh, move it around the screen and stuff like that. And then there's another function that we can call and it's called start. So right as your game or right before your game starts up it'll load these variables so maybe you wanted a another function to start up before uh, or right when your game starts and you can do that through here so yeah so I guess I'll go on with teaching you guys how to do or create different functions so you could create a function uh, for anything really this is pretty much just another place to store code that you can call at any time uh, by calling the function so let's say we wanted to create a function for um, like add number so with this function maybe we want to add a number maybe my number we want to add one so we could do my number and you can do plus plus or you want plus equals one they both do the same thing that's just for adding one though if you wanted to add more you would use plus equals and type in like two something like that so let's say we wanted to call this function at the start it's just gonna run through this once unlike the update function that's called constantly if this gets called it'll just get called once unless you have like a for loop or something in there but we'll go over that in another tutorial what those are and so yeah let's say at the start of our game we want to call add number and that's all you have to put you put that after it to call the function and add number is the name of your function so at the start we have my number equals five so when the game starts up my number will be equal to five but let's say we want to add more to that so at the start of the game we'll do add number so it will add two to my number so instead of being five this will be seven at the start so functions are a good way to do that or you could also use them for like timers or anything like that if you wanted like to uh, start something like a clock or a countdown or anything really so that's the basics how to use different functions and stuff future tutorials I'll teach you how to yeah use timers and uh, for loops and stuff and constantly loop through and maybe call something um, or cancel it or anything like that so stay tuned for future tutorials on basic JavaScript